Uh, so hi everyone, I'm very happy to be able to join here to share my project about machine learning, namely fast expression detection with TensorFlow and OpenCV. So a little introduction about me. My name is Fiona Vitalia. I completed my computer science degree last year at Yasi University. I'm currently working as a full stack developer for a web application at MEE Metro Data Electronics, and I'm interested in artificial intelligence, machine learning, clouds, and also augmented reality. So before I begin, I have a question. Uh, how many cameras on your cell phone? Uh, yeah, uh, today almost everyone must have a cell phone with a lot of camera, right? A uh, camera not just for taking a picture or making uh, vlogs, but the camera can also use to make things that are useful if we can add some algorithm. One of its use is for detection of facial expression. Uh, face detection is an AI-based computer technology that can identify and locate the presence of human face in digital photos or videos. So uh, at the end, so I have a sto little, little story. So at the end of the last year, I attend a training. There I create an application called MQP. MQP is a music recommendation based on fast expression detection. MQP is the final project of an artificial intelligence a training program created by a group of four people. That is Boma, uh, me, Dipta and Yoko. Uh, the reason we made this application was that we were required to use the material provided in the training and because the result of this project will be contested. So we think to make applications that are fun and can be used every day. Therefore, we have this idea, the idea of developing an exciting music application by adding feature to recommended music playlist based on facial expression using face detection. So to make MQP, uh, me and my friend implement the, prog the code program from Maulid Creators GitHub about facial expression detection. In this application, we use several platform and algorithm that is uh, OpenCV. So OpenCV is an open source computer vision and machine learning software. In here, uh, in OpenCV, we use cascade class object detection based on HR features. Uh, this is machine learning based approach where a cascade function is training from a lot of positive and negative image. And then the TensorFlow. Uh, in TensorFlow, uh, in this application is used for the for retraining the network to able image based on their facial expression. Uh, because during training, we learn to use the Python programming language and want to make a web-based application field, so we use Flux. Uh, so Flux is a simple and minimal framework written in Python. Uh, so uh, for this application, we only use a data set of happy, sad, angry, and calm fast expression with a total of 264 photos. So all photos are separated into folder based on expression of each face. Uh, so let me show you. This is the face crop. I implement her casket of face out the XML. Uh, so this is for make sure there is someone face in the photos of the all the of the data set. And then we will do retrain. Uh, the retrain is using the TensorFlow. This is the code. Uh, and then the this is the label code. Uh, this is uh, the main of the code. So when we play the code, when we run the code, this is the first crop, the play. And then run the retrain code. This is 
the file and then the output gap is this is for set where the model will be set and this is the label uh, directory for set or store the label and this is uh, the architecture that i use that is mobile net p1 version 1 so when i do the trick it takes about 15 minutes in my laptop and with uh, 590,099 steps with validation values ranging from 30% to 65% to retain 264 photos. And then the last what I run is label code. And when uh, the label is already, uh, it will be showing you new window. This is uh, the example when I use it. Don't look detail on my face. I don't know why my face almost showing sad face. Uh, I'm sorry, I can run my project directly because it will take time. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the implementation of uh, this is web based using Flux Flux platform. When we click the capture button, it will be save the last uh, expression and we'll move to the new window and we'll sorry and we'll give you recommendation of music i think that's all my presentation any question was there real time training with the new data sets uh no uh, is only a uh, data set what I said last time is not a uh, real time. <laughs> he's also asking, uh, he's also saying that it's a very cool project. Is it open source? Uh, uh, I use Maurice Scott, so I just make some uh, here. I use Maurit Little's special expression detection code from GitHub and I change some of the code and use Flux for the front end. Um, can you explain how you were mapping recognized images with sounds? Since facial movements can vary if it's dynamic in a video, will music still be recommended to them? Uh, yeah, so that's the question uh, we got last uh, when we were uh, training. Uh, so because at that time we were only given about one week time uh, so the music recommendation is based on the detection of the last expression just like i say in the presentation so when we press the capture button so the mm -hmm. last expression will be uh give the recommendation music 